Great leaders have a rare ability to communicate their vision to their followers, whether it's in the world of business, where someone is trying to build a great company, or in the world of sports, where a coach can really inspire their team to be all that they can be, or in a church where a great leader has God's vision for that church. I wanna to talk to you about it in your morning cup of inspiration. I'm sure you've heard the term, catch, I want you to catch my vision or catching a vision. Well, Moses had that ability. He was a wonderful leader in the Bible and he had a very tough task. He had to lead the children of Israel out of Egypt, away from Pharaoh's uh, oppression. And then for 40 years, he led them through the wilderness until they finally arrived at the promised land. How did he have that patience to await the vision? Well, it's because his vision wasn't just based on a sense of duty to God or on a sense of uh, duty and, and obligation to his principles. It was based on God himself. And we read in Exodus chapter 34, verse 29, when Moses came down from Mount Sinai with the two tablets of the testimony in his hands, he was not aware that his face was radiant because he had spoken with the Lord. Do you realize that when we spend time with God, we have a glow about us. We let his light shine through us, but it comes with time. It comes with spending time with God. And just as God spoke to Moses as he was speaking to his friend, he can speak to us that way and we can communicate with him through our daily prayer. And then over in uh, Hebrews, we also read about Moses in verse 27 of chapter 11. It says, By faith he left Egypt, not fearing the king's anger. He persevered because he saw him who is invisible. Again, you see, what was his vision? Was his vision of great principles or of sense of duty? No, his vision was God. Is God your vision? You know, there's a great hymn. It says, be thou my vision. We have to keep our eyes and our hearts tuned into the Lord and focused on, on Jesus and what he wants in our life. And finally, in the book of Habakkuk, chapter two, verse three, it says, for the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though, though it linger, wait for it it will certainly come and will not delay. When you have God as your vision, you'll have the patience, the strength, and the power to wait for it. We need to be seeking him more than ever. We live in a time where every day is critical. Let's make sure we're spending our time with God so we can catch not only his vision, but we can catch our vision of him. I hope that inspires you and I'll see you soon for another morning cup of inspiration.